टूडे वी हैव एन एक्साइटिंग प्रोजेक्ट डेट कम्बाइज हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर टू क्रिएट जेस्टर कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन विच वी कैन कंट्रोल आवर कंप्यूटर थ्रो जेस्टर्स लेट मी सो यू डेमो फर्स्ट To make this project small and compact, I have designed a PCB for it. A kind of module in which microcontroller unit, sensor, voltage regulator circuit, external flash memory, and Type C connector all integrated in one. And this module will directly connect with your computer, no need of any other cable or wire. And in this video, we will walk you through the components, the code, and a live demonstration. So let's get into this video. This video is sponsored by Dizik, who is also the supplier of components used in this project. Dizik is a global leader in cutting edge commerce distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.3 million components from over 2900 manufacturers with products in stock available for immediate shipment. Also with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your product will arrive on time and in top condition. So do remember to check out Dizik for your next project. Now let's take a look at the main components we will be using for this project. Here we are using APDS 9500 gesture sensor, Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller, an external flash memory, a reset IC, a voltage regulator IC, 12 MHz crystal oscillator, and a male type C connector. And all these components are connected as per this schematic. Let me explain this schematic in detail. This is the Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller and the central processing unit of this module. Three LEDs which is connected to GPIO 10, 11 and 12. This is the APDS 9500 gesture sensor which is responsible for detecting gestures and this gesture sensor is connected to the RP2040 microcontroller through SPI and I2C interface. This is external flash memory used for storing data or program code. and this flash memory is connected to the rp2040 through spi interface this is 12 megahertz crystal oscillator which provides a clock signal for the microcontroller and which is connected to x in and x out pin of the rp2040 microcontroller this is the reset ic which is used to ensure the microcontroller is properly reset during power up and this is connected to the reset pin of the rp2040 microcontroller this is the male type c connector for connecting the module with computer this is voltage regulator ic which convert 5 volt into 3.3 volt and gives stable power supply this is bypass capacitors which is used for power supply filtering and stabilization we seen the main components used in this project now let's see the working of this project this apds 9500 sensor combines ambient light sensing and proximity detection It uses a photodiode to measure visible light intensity and an IR LED photodiode pair to detect the proximity of objects. It communicates with the microcontroller through I2C protocol. Whenever any gesture is detected, it sends a specific code to the microcontroller which represents different gesture such as swipe left, swipe right, approach or depart. And after getting these codes, microcontroller RP2040 sends a signal to the computer which emulates keyboard signal. In keyboard every button has unique code whenever we press any button on the keyboard a code is sent to the computer after receiving the code computer perform an action based on the code received by the keyboard in this gesture control system actually we are doing the same thing whenever any gesture is detected sensor send a specific code to the microcontroller and based on the code microcontroller send a code to the computer through hid interface and code sent by microcontroller is keyboard emulated code i mean a code similar to the code of keyboard button so whenever we swipe up we send the code of keyboard up arrow button for swipe down we send keyboard down arrow button code in this way we send code for swipe left swipe right and space bar button code i hope you understand the working of this project now let's move to the coding part of this project this is the code for gesture control project Before I explain the code you need to install Raspberry Pi RP2040 board package in your Arduino IDE and also need to add this APDS9500 library in your Arduino IDE This is the library of APDS9500 Now copy this folder and go to Arduino IDE folder Open this Arduino folder Here you will find a folder whose name is libraries Now open this libraries folder and paste the APDS9500 library here. After pasting the folder, close this window. 
Now we need to install RP2040 board package. For this, open Arduino setting. Then here in additional board manager URLs, you need to add this URL. Copy this URL and paste it here. Then click OK. Now go to tools, then board manager. Here search for RP2040 and install this Raspberry Pi Pico boards package by Arle F. Philhover. After installation, close this window. Now go to tools again. And in the board section, you will find the board packages of Raspberry Pi RP2040. So select the right board that is Raspberry Pi Pico. These are the needed libraries for the code. Here I have defined pin numbers for the LEDs. This is object for interfacing with APDS9500 sensor. After that here, these are the constants and variables for managing the blinking of green and red LEDs. And this is the callback function to control the green LED based on the caps lock state. Now in the setup section, we defined the pin mode for LEDs and started the serial communication, keyboard and APDS9500 sensor. Now in the loop section, we continuously checking if there is any gesture detected by the APDS9500 sensor or not. And if reading the sensor fails, it will attempt to reinitialize. If any gesture is detected, then we trigger the blinking sequence for the green and red LEDs. After that, based on the detected gesture, it performs the corresponding keyboard action. Gestures are detected using this function, which returns a bit mask of detected gestures, and actions are taken based on the bit mask. Here in this section of code, the blue LED blinks continuously based on on interval and off interval. Uh, that's it the explanation of this code. Now upload this code after selecting the right communication port and right board. Now everything is done, let's see project in action. As you can see, I am able to control my laptop using gestures to make the video forward, backward, volume up, volume down and play pause only through gestures. And one more thing, this module works almost with all devices and operating systems. Like you can control your Windows OS laptop, iPad, any Android smartphone and with Mac also that is iOS based systems. And that's it for this gesture control project. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Digikey.